Hey guys, Psycho Revolution, and welcome to my Gmod Machinima Guide. You're watching episode 12. In this one, I'm going to be talking about render settings, project settings, etc. in Sony Vegas. We're going to be making your video look the best it can possibly look when you upload it to YouTube. So, let's get started. Alright, so, I've got some stills here, and then I've got a video here. It's in just a default template of 720 by 480 a standard def one. But for YouTube, the standard has essentially become 720, a baseline, and then if you can, you'll do 1080. So if you've got the space and the processing power to render in 720 or 1080, do that as opposed to standard def. Now, when you're before you're editing, you need to get your project settings right. And how do you do this well? We can click up here and we'll get all our project properties. Now you can pick these templates and make your own. And I'm going to tell you what you need to do. So, the width and the height, this is the resolution. For 720, it's 1280 by 720. For 1080, it's it's 1920 by 1080. That's what I'm going to do. I used to do 720, and then since this tutorial series I've been doing in 1080 so you could see all the icons clearly and buttons, and so then that has just become my standard for Gmod too. There isn't a huge visual difference that you can tell, but it's slight, and why not? I have the power to do it, so I'll do it. So. Width and height, this is going to be what size you want. Field order, you want it at none. Frame rate, this is going to vary on what you choose. I'm doing 25. Hey, look at that. It matched my template. Okay. So, I'm doing 25. Because, number one, with stills, it doesn't matter what you do. And I usually do a lower number because it's just frame by frame animation and you don't need a high frame rate. And the higher the frame rate, the bigger the video size is because more frames have to render out. And then with video, you want the frame rate to be the same as the video that you're editing. If it's not the same, let's go to best full so you can see exactly what happens. If it's different, this video is at 25. If I change it to 29, this ghosting appears. I call it ghosting. I don't know what the real name is. That's what I'm calling it, ghosting. That'll happen. And I see this a lot, actually, in Gmod videos. And it's quite easy to fix. You just match the frame rate, which is 25 for me. You might record in 30 frames a second. You'll match that. Or 60 frames. You can match that. It's whatever you do, just match it. Okay, another thing, these black bars. I've covered this in another tutorial, but I'll do it again, because you might not have seen that one. To get rid of these bars, we're going to need to go to Event Pan Crop, this thing here. And we can just drop down to widescreen TV aspect. And there you go. No more black bars. Now if you keep this ratio right, you can just zoom in wherever you want, and there won't be any black bars as long as you're on the image. If you go off, there'll be a black bar. So, you can do this, and these are already like that. Because when they're not like that, they are like this. And here's another tip, you can do copy, copy this, and then I can paste event attributes, and this will paste that event pan crop onto this one, so I don't have to go through and do it to every still. I could select all of these and do paste event attributes and then they'll all be in the widescreen format with no black bars. So now that we got this figured out, let's move on to rendering. Now when you're rendering you need to pick what area you're going to render. Let's say I want to render both of these back to back, highlight this loop region. And here's the trick, you can hit R to create a region, name this 
Tut video. Hit enter. Then we have this region on the timeline for future use. So, if I'm doing stuff and then I go back, I need to render this, I can just double click on this. That region is selected again. I don't have to drag it over and reselect it. Now let's go up here. We can go to file render or just click this icon, render as, and render to desktop because I don't care. I don't care about the name. I use WMV as the file to render to. Some people like MP4. There it is. I don't. And this being my tutorial, I do what I want. Therefore, I'll show you how to do WMV. Okay, okay. I already got this template. I'll show you what it looks like. Constant bitrate, yeah, 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 whatever. We don't care about this. Video. Obviously, want it to be the right size. And the frame rate needs to be right. Video smoothness, I think it starts at 90. I just bring it to 100. I can't really tell the difference. Who cares? <laughs> Bit rate's at 9. I think that's the highest it goes. It might even just be 6.3. I don't know. All this crazy voodoo stuff. Project, you need it to be at best. Well, you don't need it to be, but that's what you want it to be at, because that's when it looks the best. Okay, and let's render this. Now, while this renders, I'll tell you, I rendered out the Kleiner flipping out in the sky. There he is. I rendered it in these settings, and then I rendered it in MP4 settings with like a 20 million bit rate or something super high. And I have those super secretly unlisted. I'll provide the links on the screen, I guess, and in the dis no, I'll just put it in the description. Annotations are so much work. Who has the time? I mean, come on. I'm going to put them in the description. And you can check those out if you want. Maybe you like MP4 more. I can't tell the difference, really. MP4 is a bigger file size, and they look the same to me. Maybe they don't to you. You can decide that for yourself. So, those are unlisted. I show uh, how much, what the file size is, too. So you can kind of compare. If you think MP4 looks better, which I don't, it has, I think, about roughly double the file size. So, it's your call. And that's it for me. So I hope you found this informative and entertaining, of course. And, as always, stay friggin' sexy. Normally at this point, you'd be hearing the awesome static sounds that accompany my outro, but instead, I've got a deal for you. Now, my friends over at phoenixserve.com have hooked me up with my own Gmod server, and I'll be using that server to make some cool videos with you guys, some build-offs hopefully, and just playing around with you guys. Doing some shenanigans on the server, some hoodwinks, some other words that I don't know exist yet, but clearly belong in that sentence. But in the meantime, before all that happens, I got a deal for you guys, okay? If you go to phoenixserve.com, enter the promo code PSYCHOREVOLUTION, you'll get 15% off your first month of a server. Whatever server you want. It's not just Gmod, they got Minecraft, Gmod, TF2, you name it, I bet they got it. And if you've never run your own server and you're intimidated by the fact that you're gonna be admitting this whole server, then you're like, I, I can't do this. Don't be afraid, okay? I was a noob, I became an admin of a Minecraft server, and now a Gmod server all this year. And let me tell you, it's not that hard. And it's really rewarding when you can have your own server that your friends can come and play on, and it's always up. So, go to phoenixserve.com, enter the promo code PSYCHOREVOLUTION, and you'll get yourself 15% off your first month.